do a little bit of gas here. Oh man, this thing has some nice pull. It push it back to your seat really nice. Man, I'm not even flooring this thing and it just goes. Bam. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Peter's Auto Vlog. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today, we're gonna get behind the wheel of this 2023 Ford Expedition XLT. Very excited to do so, as it's gonna be the first time behind the wheel of a 23 Ford Expedition. Before we go on, I wanna give a big shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this expedition. Big thank you to Tim and all the team at Barto Ford. I'll leave all their information and the link to their website in the description below. So here we have this 2023 Ford Expedition XLT. Now, this is a four x two model with a regular wheel, it's not the extended max version now this one here is finished off in a jewel red which is a brand new color for 2023 it's more like a really dark burgundy kind of you know purplish looking at really really awesome the way it looks now this one of course this one here is equipped with the uh nice 18 inch wheels we got some 275 millimeter michelin primacy tires all around we got just running boards on this one as you can see really nice aluminum trim here really looks i mean this is even though it's a more of a base xlt expedition it looks really really nice so what are the changes for the 2023 Ford Expedition. Well, obviously, we'll start with the colors. This one here, of course, being the jewel red. Really fantastic color. We also have a new one called Race Red. Unfortunately, Rapid Red is no longer available and also the iconic silver is now available in the higher trims the limited the platinum all that stuff is available that that, that color is now available with the higher trims before we just kind of set to the lower trims but that new iconic silver is available throughout the line uh for 2023 really the only biggest changes of course have been the elimination of the power or the or the, or the foot operated lift gate that has been eliminated for 2023 due to some supplier constraints according to ford also for 2023 the biggest changes are to the timberline model now you can get it with some black on leather also for the terminal you can get it now with the one foot operation with the opera cruise control which is really cool feature besides that other as well just the red colors really not much changes at all for the trim uh Timberland has the biggest changes. Other than that, this is what it is for 2023 for the Ford Expedition. All right, so coming here to this Ford Expedition, of course, we've done quite a bit of reviews of the Ford Expedition. It hasn't really hasn't changed. Of course, this is the fourth generation. This model got refreshed for 2022. For 2023, as just mentioned, those minor changes. And here we have the key with, as you can see, regular key four logo on it let's go in up we got open close we got remote start and we of course we got panic and of course double click to open up the rear hatch now coming here you guys of course plenty of room obviously this is biggest forts uh this is ford's biggest suv you definitely got at least comfortable six seven people sitting here as well uh really really nice lots of space here i believe there's about 19 cubic feet here behind i'll put all those numbers up for you guys on the screen with the seats on and up and down but plenty of room here as you can see we got of course um lights we got hooks all around we got also controls here for your seats you can put the seats back up as you can see the third row and the second row are powered seats really really nice down here we have a little more storage room as you can see we got a jack we do have a full size spare tire as well and this girl so really nice a roomy as you can see guys plenty of uh, space for you for your travels for your kids traveling so fantastic SUV and of course you can hear you got also your ability for hatch this one here can tow 9300 pounds being the short wheelbase one uh, but it's a fantastic SUV for all around so let's go ahead guys and put this hatch down there we go and uh let's move on to the front rear view camera of course and also here we guys most of people don't know but we do have also a button for the second one so you can open up the little window here in the back as you can see many people know that but you can definitely also put up there's just a the window portion of the rear hatch so you can just take out some bags put out some things or just kind of vent the system without opening the whole door so that's a really cool feature of this ford expedition you just got to be careful putting it down and all right let's go, go check out what's powering this ford expedition let's pop the hood 
All right, coming here to the hood of the expedition, let's go ahead and just pop up the hatch a little bit there and our hood raises up. Thank you to Hydraulic Shocks. Thank you for it. So here we have the 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6. This is producing 380 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque. Of course, this is going to a twin speed automatic to adjust the rear wheels on this model. Of course, all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive is optional on this expedition. Really, really good engine, plenty of torque. I mean, there's all, and of course, there's always a little bit of different horsepower variation depending on the trim. If you get, for example, the limited or the higher trims with the high how, high output motor you're looking up to over 400 500 440 horsepower and 510 pound feet of torque so that's one of the most powerful motors you can get but on this base trim you get 380 470 pound feet of torque now the efficiency of this motor is looking around 17 miles in the city 23 on the highway of course uh, depending on your how heavy your foot is but uh still pretty good efficient in your fantastic torque out of this engines and uh, of course i wish ford offered a v8 on this one so have you give you the option or uh you know some other type of uh hybrid portion but i'm sure that's coming up with a newer expedition that i'll probably see maybe next year or, or 2025 so all right guys there we go powertrain for this ford expedition really awesome engine so there we go all right before we go on let's get take a quick look at the sticker of this ford expedition as you can see guys here we have the 2023 expedition xlt 4x2 done in jewel red so i've been passing you with the ecoboost now this one's got the black uh, onyx active exiting material which is kind of like a fake leather but it's really really nice feeling uh as you can see guys this one starts at about fifty nine thousand one hundred and ninety dollars now this one's got the equipment 202a package which is about 3800 bucks we have also the jewel red which is 495 dollar option this basically has also the floor mats for 160 and we have the auto star stop removal for a 50 dollar credit for a total msrp of sixty five thousand four hundred and eighty five dollars for this xlt expedition now this is more of a base model so they're not cheap obviously you know prices have gone quite way up but uh, you know it's quite a bit of SUV for what you get obviously considering the prices range let's take a it, quick look at the interior of this expedition now as you can see of course this has got the black onyx active leather seating here which is really nice obviously we got some uh, soft leather here on the top with the with the materials here for your door uh really nice little bit of white stitching you can see guys plenty of room speakers are plenty of room to put a lot of things for your for your kids or your family coming here guys of course here we got the seats obviously this is a black onyx it's really nice they feel really nice or perforated as you can see really nice seating now this one's got the captain chairs here in the middle we got the third row here in the back now let's go ahead guys back and get inside this position that kind of revealed a little bit more different different types of interior but still really nice the leather feels very soft a couple of pockets here besides behind the seats here so here's your center console so you can see there's a couple of extra cup holders here we got your third zone ac with basically a three-prong connection here and also a couple of usb connections there all, all here's your controls for your ac in the bottom here we got a little more space here for storage as you can see this has got the rubber floor mats plenty of uh, storage here as you can see and plenty of space as well uh if you go back to the third row you can see guys plenty of space to move here in the back there's no storm on this one unfortunately but uh it's still really really nice here we got some of the ac vents as you can see you can just pop this up here a little bit open uh but overall really, really nice very roomy for interior and i really love this active x leather seating which is really nice here's come your armrest we can you can put down very comfortable for a family and uh, for a base xlt it's not too bad at all to be honest with you here's the rest of the interior of this expedition so let's go ahead and uh, get to the oh, front right, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the driver's side of this expedition so as you can see here we got a really nice soft leather a bit of aluminum trim here really, really nice of course controls for your windows and mirrors also three uh memory seating for the seats these are these 10-way power seats so as you can see guys really, really nice you got your running board here we get the floor mats also from factory and of course here we come to the middle we have your leather steering wheel as well which is electronically adjustable really really nice uh we get a bit of stitching here as you can see finishing off some of the dash really nice a bit of aluminum trim as well the seats of course are really nice as well perforated i believe these are heated and cooled seats as well so that's awesome feature to have especially here in florida but um all right let's go ahead guys and uh jump inside inside of this ford expedition xlt as you can see guys even being a little bit more of a base model it's still a very very nice interior obviously we get no sunroof but a lot of a lot of equipment that it has of course here are sunglass holders we got controls for your lights of course you got your rear mirror of course we got your double glove as well so you can see upper and lower glove box and of course here we got your toby screens let's go ahead and uh, get this expedition started press our button hold the brake and we have all the screens light up to life as you can see there so this one that we have here guys 12 uh, inch screen here of course you get that 15 and a half inch screen from the ford Marquis as well and this one is as an option but you have to go to a higher trim level it's going lower the bottom here a little bit but that, this is a fantastic uh fantastic uh, size of screen this is the same one that's on the ford f-150s and the uh 
the heavy duties as well. Lots of uh, options here. As you can see, we got audio, we got navigation, we got it's pretty quick to touch. Obviously, still a brand new system, but as you can see, it took just a little bit there. But obviously, you get your second uh, little screen here as well for putting on your phone or other information. Uh, we got the phone. Of course, we got apps and uh yeah take a little bit to respond but of course we got apple carplay android auto all kinds of things you can do and uh we got serious sunlight radio navigation this has also got over the air updates clock all types of settings you can do as well as you can see guys so all kinds of uh, vehicle hotspots connectivity for assistance as well and of course you can also you know configure a lot of these things to your phone for through the ford app on your phone so a lot of things you can do so going back to audio this one has a six speaker base audio which is not bad at all very very nice sounding uh, uh, radio even though considering it's a bass so coming here to the bottom guys we have here your hazards basically track control off we got here uh physical buttons for the radio of course down here we got your dual zone ac with seat heaters as well and seat coolers as well so you know ventilated seats really really awesome here at the bottom guys we do have a wireless charging pad i can put my phone here as well and it's a basically a note 9 and basically it is fitting well it's not fitting a little bit it's a little tight but you can definitely fit a regular <laughs> phone there two usb connections there and of course you can just close that as well a bit of uh, a bit of chrome accent here is really nice of course we got your 10 speed automatic transmission your little dial here to turn that drive modes as well of course we got different drive modes we go in let me see i know the door is it's a jar we got normal we have tow and haul we got slippery we got trail we got echo and we have sport so we're gonna probably leave it on sport just in case here we're gonna go out for a drive that's the type of channel we are that's what it is here pretty simple of course we got a lot of storage here as well we got a little tray and i see another 12 volt connection there but that's about it for this expedition xlt a little more regular and of course we also got a 12 volt connection here another one as well little coin holder here this, this one does not have the 4x4 system this is where your little 4x4 dial would be but obviously we got a coin holder there instead but uh, other than that really really nice bit of a uh, little more a little more trim here really nice with the stitching and uh overall excellent interior let's go ahead guys and close the door before we do let's go ahead and see here we can hear that v6 you can definitely hear a little bit of a turbo whistle there really really nice so all right let's go ahead and close the door coming here to the main part of this one of course the steering wheel feels fantastic in your hands all controls here for your cruise control and of course here the screen in the middle now this screen in the middle is an 8 inch screen which is really really nice very crisp now as you can see guys here we have a control so as you can do we got of course a digital speedometer of course we got your analog gauges here on each side tachometer and also speedometer now going through the middle guys of course you get a back menu we got also kinds of all things you can do vehicle trip information my view uh settings audio phone all kinds of you can see configuration you can do to your vehicle now of course here we put my view put okay it gives you the things you want to put on there uh configure my view you got average fuel economy all kinds of trip meters all kinds of things great information that this expedition gives you now obviously guys this one here you got 61 miles on it so it's pretty brand new uh, we don't have a ton of gas but let's go ahead and uh go out for a test drive we can see got your wiper stock here and everything else is really really nicely done i really love the materials feel nice this is a much higher quality feeling expedition than the former one as well for did a really good job with this uh, updated or this or basically your mid-cycle refresh of this fourth generation expedition all so. right let's go out for a test drive as you can see guys of course we got a little doll here let's go ahead and put this thing on reverse first we'll go check out the rear camera now this being the base model it seems that the resolution of the camera is not the greatest seems like it's not the best but, but look, I don't know if it's a different shape, but it's not really as clear as some of the other ones I've seen on this expedition. That maybe depending on the model, of course you can zoom down a little bit, and of course you also get your sensors as well in the back. As you can see, they're activated there as well. So really nice. I mean, the camera is big; it's got pretty good graphics as well. But they, they seem a little bit more, uh, I would say, grainy. It's kind of interesting though to see that. But obviously, they've always been really, really cool on the screen. So, all right, let's go ahead, guys, and put this thing on drive. We are on sport mode, if I'm correct. So let's go out and. Get this girl out for a small test drive and see how this feels so obviously this one's got the base engine 380 horsepower but it's still plenty of torque 470 pump feet of torque a steering wheel feels really good in your hands uh the steering wheel is quite light to be honest a little more lighter than i would like it to be a little more heft but uh still it's very easy to drive very comfortable feeling suv nobody coming i see got some stickers there uh very very good feeling uh so light to drive and this is so easy to drive it just feels like a regular suv i mean obviously you get a big suv but just you know the sheer really lightness to it that this feels it feels light in your hands let's go ahead and go out for a touch let's go ahead and get a little bit of a punch here so as you can see 
Oof, just effortless torque down low. Oof, man. So easy, you guys. I'm even pressing maybe 25% on the gas. And this thing just likes to go and get up. Excellent dash of filling SUV. Uh, so you see, very quiet, very, very, the seats are fantastically comfortable. As you can see, I got the level one on the cooling, which is, feels great, especially today being a little bit, it's not crazy hot, it's 80 degrees today in, in sunny central Florida. But overall, this feeling of this uh, expedition feels great. I mean, you're sitting high. Uh, this is not a great handling or anything like that. This has got your base suspension. It's a four by two. Uh, the line, know that it's got a little bit of suspension. You can go to the limited with the stealth package, which give you a little more subtle suspension, uh, tighter springs and shocks. But this is still a very comfortable SUV. Uh, as you can see, we're in sport mode right now. Obviously, let's, we can actually switch the, the settings. And let's take it to, uh, let's take it to normal. So everything cools down, nothing crazy. But overall feels excellent. I mean, very good in your hands, very capable, uh, very soft ride, comfortable, very quiet interior. Tires are making just a little slight bit of wind noise, but other than that, uh, it's a super nice, smooth running SUV. So as you see, the screen looks fantastic. Everything's at your fingertips and all the screens are very, really nice. The way the, the graphics are, and even this one here on, the, on our center screen here, it's really, really nice. 10-speed automatic is very very soft uh, to, the, to the you can barely feel it so i wish this one had the sunroof this one doesn't have any sunroof on it that's why one of the nice features you can get uh with this expedition is a panoramic sunroof now the brakes feel feel really nice got really nice progressive feeling to them for, uh, confident inspiring i guess i think we gotta we can definitely go let's give a little bit of gas here Oh man, this thing has some nice pull. It push it back to your seat really nice. Man, I'm not even flooring this thing and it just goes. <laughs> very nice, very nice torque. The power, the, just the torque, the linear torque is so nice. Uh, you know, to be honest, you obviously it's a four by two and nothing, you know, crazy, but man, this thing just feels fantastic in terms of the way it powers up, just endless torques. You know, the torque is really down low in the RPM range. So you got just a great, you know, it's just a really good feeling. Even with this, you know, even with maybe two or more people in this place or hauling something, towing a boat or something, you sure you got plenty of power uh, to do so. But the fantastic feeling, you know, uh, expedition, really, really nice the way this feels, even though this is being an XL, you know, more of a base XL T-trim. The interior has plenty of amenities. You get a fantastic screen, cool, heated seats, leather, you know, this Onyx, uh, you know, this Onyx, uh, the active exits feel really nice very comfortable very soft as well so let me know what you guys think of this Ford Expedition 2023 I mean not a lot of changes of course but I think the Ford has you know just been improving and you know what I think that's one of the good selling SUVs that they have besides of course the Escape and the and the Explorers will definitely do for a new up, update for next year the Edge is, is already gone obviously the Edge is the last year for the Edge I'm sure they're working on a Ford rep a replacement but I think they're still they even they're, they're still selling that pretty decently obviously the new 2020 Escape we have not seen the Escape yet so we'll see when those get the dealerships but overall coming back to this expedition it, i really like it so soft i mean it's a fantastic vehicle to travel especially with kits and your gear the turning of course you can definitely feel the heft on this thing and if we just give it a little bit of you know just look how easy this climbs man this thing just obviously here in the curves yeah you can feel the weight and the steering wheel does not talk to you a lot but uh yeah, I mean, it's no handling or anything like that type of vehicle, but uh, it, it does behave pretty nice. I did drive the Expedition Stealth one, and that does drive a little more sporting. And, of course, if you go to the Timberline, you got the off-road capabilities with all the skid plates, the higher suspension, you know, the off-road tires. So it all depends. There's a lot of trims to this Expedition, depending on your taste, what are your needs. Uh, but I think, of course, as I mentioned before, the Expedition, uh, the Timberline Edition or the Stealth ones, I think are probably the best trims you can get. Of course, they're higher, um, they're higher price, but... Uh, even this base model 4x2 is plenty of SUV of course at about $65,000 they're not cheap they're not you know uh, what you say just enough super affordable SUV but you do get a lot of SUV for your money I, I'd say considering the prices today so let me know what you guys think of this SUV if you guys own one if you like it uh, you know what features have you guys used I mean obviously I love this this, this is plenty of us uh, as for example this screen here plenty of screen that you have actually you know what let's go and uh, I'm gonna take it right here, but plenty of screen with this one here. This is a really nice screen I prefer this one to the 15 inch, but the 15 inch is really nice though, to be honest um, 
But uh, let me know, guys, what you think of this 2023 Ford Expedition XLT. Love the color. The Bergen is really, really nice. Uh, very nice, comfortable riding. Plenty of space. Seats are comfortable. Decent stereo for the base stereo. Um, yeah, this is, you know, quite a bit of SUV for, for the money. All right, guys, so coming into the conclusion of this Ford Expedition, let's go ahead and upgrade the get this thing in reverse. See that rear camera again. As you can see, let's see if we can upgrade. Let's see if those rear sensors come into play once the little sidewalk is coming into play. Yeah, there we go. There's the sensors as well. So I noticed that this camera has a little bit less resolution than I'm used to from this Ford, uh, you know, product. So I don't know why, but it might be just my thing or might be dirty. I don't know. But all right, guys, there we go. Put it back on park. There we go, guys. 2023 Ford Expedition XLT. You know, fantastic SUV, guys. For $65,000, not cheap. Cheap. in terms of competition of course you got the chevy tahoe the suburban in terms of that uh from dodge the durango still kind of plays into it as well but this is a much bigger suv uh from the japanese of course we got the toyota tundra which is a fantastic suv as well we got the nissan not the pathfinder but the nissan armada which is also a contender so a little bit of come not a ton of competition but in this uh, second segment of full size suv i think this is one of the best you can definitely get and ford does make a great product All as right. well Thank so, you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying this uh, quick, uh, exp you know, look at this 2023 expedition. And I apologize, I've not uploaded as much. I've been busy at work, and then my computer has been uh, giving me some troubles. I have not had the opportunity to upload as much as I want. But I thank you so very much for watching, guys. So if you guys, if you guys have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, support the channel. We're almost on our way to 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate every one of you looking at my channel, and of course, I'm improving, getting some more cars, and just getting more hang of this awesome car content. So thank you so much for watching, guys. You guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.